hey guys welcome back to the sullivan family it is tuesday it is homeschooling we are i don't even know what time it is actually it's um, it's 10 oh it's quarter past 10 already okay so we've got um we've got eva hello she's doing, on. she's doing some work with her over the top and we've got Toby who's gone to the toilet again. And we've got Noah who's doing some work. So we had a few teething problems yesterday with um, just the fact that I've got three of them set up on Class Dojo, obviously, because I've got three of them at primary. Well, there's the nursery ones as well, as well but um, so there's six of them all together. But the three ones that need access to all the work on Dojo it's fine normally, um, but obviously now all their work is on Dojo. It means I have to flick through, keep flicking back and forth through three different children. Although a lot of Noah's stuff is on Teams as well. Um, it's just a bit of a headache. So I've managed to get Dojo set up for Toby on a laptop. So I only really need to use my phone for... Eva's work at the moment and I have managed to print out a lot of her work so we've got that on paper as well it's just a bit of a minefield trying to you keep having to like go back and forth through each different account and then I think have I just posted the wrong piece of work to the wrong portfolio or because you've got obviously it's got to photograph the work and then put it in their portfolio online and I keep worrying that I've taken <laughs> taken the photo of the wrong person's work but um we're kind of getting there it's kind of a little bit more um a little bit better i suppose this week if you didn't have to if it wasn't for the whole technology side of it um probably be a bit a bit easier all the checking in and the um oh, photographing all your work and all that i understand why you've got to do it obviously because the teachers need to see what they're doing but it's just um just more time consuming but um anyway it's already 18 we are getting on um <laughs> We are doing stuff. Little ones are in the other room having snacks with the older ones and we are doing, doing some work. work. We've got a helper. Jojo, have you come to help Noah with his work? Yeah? Oh. Have you come to help? He's eating snack jacks. He's not supposed to be in here, so he's come. Are you coming to help? Yeah? I have to refresh my page. Joseph, what you doing? What's this? Yeah. Is it an iPad? Yeah, yeah. It's an iPad. Yeah, don't touch. 22. Okay, so, um... Mummy. I decided, hang on a sec, to buy some of these, um, snap cubes. These ones for the children because trying to teach them math sometimes is really difficult and I know from personal experience that it's sometimes quite difficult to visualise things. It's easier when you've physically got them in your hand, especially for little ones. So like anything is easier when they can see it and take it away and everything like that. So we bought some of these because I knew we'd be at home for a while. And yeah. plus when they go back to school, the little ones can use them for things anyway, so they're always going to be handy. So Toby's just done some of his maths, haven't you, Toby? Yeah. So he's done his, some of his maths, and they've they've helped him ha him out, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. So he's done for this morning. Um, he's not got a very good attention span, have you, Tobes? So we've done two tasks, and we'll try and pick up some more later. Um... Right. Sorry, I'm just literally they've just finished doing their or some of their schoolwork, so I'm just nipped up to clean through the bathroom because now everyone's up, obviously, and the girls are finally finished in the bathroom. Um, I spoke a little bit last night on my blog about um, parenting guilt, and I just wanted to go into that a little bit more. In I think as a parent you that's the one thing they never tell you before you have kids is how guilty you'll feel literally about everything um 
there's always something to feel guilty about, whether it's time, money, anything. And kids are very good at making you feel bad as well, even when they don't mean to. But I think at the moment, I mean, the guilts are kind of huge. They're magnified at the moment. Um, you know, I feel the only way I can, I mean, the little ones, they need a lot of attention and it's very difficult to give them attention when you're working with the middle ones who also need your attention. You know, obviously for me at the moment, Ben is at work. Um, so I'm having to leave like the older ones with the tiny ones so that I can help the middle ones. And then the older ones are going in and doing their work in the afternoon. But that also means that, you know, they're maybe not doing as much as they could be, but it's kind of the only way that we can um, work around it really. But, you know, that obviously makes you feel guilty then that number one, you're not spending the time with the tiny ones. Number two, the older ones are kind of having to pick up the slack where you're not there. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult to give each one your individual attention when you're you know, everyone has to wait a minute for you to do this and just hang on a minute for you to do that. And I guess, you know, that's the same really for so many parents at the moment, especially, you know, people that are working from home. But I can't imagine how, you know, you're trying to work as well as help kids with schooling. So I think, I think really whatever you do in this current situation, it's, the guilt is going to be huge because you're, it's just it's set up to make you feel guilty because it's an impossible situation whichever way you look at it whether you're going out to work and you know you're having to put your children into childcare, whether you're at home and you're trying to work whether you're at home and you're trying to school you know different children different age children it's all kind of and run a house and everything else as well it's all um it's all kind of an impossible task and i think that just adds to the the pressure at the moment because you know it kind of makes you feel that you're not doing it because you can't do it all it's difficult to make you feel like you're doing any of it right sometimes um but you know you are we're all we're all kind of trying to do our best and i think that's what the pressure is is put on that is put on sorry is is enormous and um it is for everybody at the moment and i guess what i'm trying to say is is that it's okay to feel like it's too much. It's okay to feel um, that it's an enormous pressure because it is, it is an enormous pressure. It's, it's a huge pressure for anybody. We're all just trying to, to get our way through it. And, you know, it's been, it's been like a year now. And whereas, you know, last summer everybody made, it was much different. We were in the garden, it was sunny, you know, then it ended up being the summer holidays and we all made some fun, you know, we had a great time, well, not a great time. I don't mean it as in we had a great time, but, you know, Ben was home. Um, and we made some amazing memories with the kids. But this time around, obviously, you know, a lot of people are at work and maybe they weren't last time, like Ben is at work this time. Um, so people are struggling doing things on their own. It's been a long time. We've been doing this for a long time and we, you know, we understand why we've got to do it and we're probably going to have to do it for a lot longer, but then that's fine. But just know that you can only do what you can do. You can only do, there's only a certain amount of hours in a day. There's only so much you can do. And it's no good on anyone's mental health to try and push yourself or push your kids too far because it's just not going to work. And it will be worse in the long run for everyone's mental health if you burn out. Um, and I think that's what one of the biggest points that people are missing at the moment is that you cannot push people too far because they will burn out and then you'll end up with an even bigger crisis than we've got at the moment so just do what you can do and if you can't you know if you can't do it that day just walk away and say we can't do it that's it even if the teachers are saying you know you must complete all of this work by friday you, you can't do what you can't do and that's as simple as it is you can only do as much as you can do you can just all you can do is your best and that's that's all there is to it so don't don't push yourself too far don't burn yourself out don't fight with your kids because they won't do this certain sum you can only do as much as you can do and that's 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 it
so as I was saying, um, I feel very strongly when it comes to looking after your mental health, as you probably have all already guessed or know from reading my blog, it's not enough, um, not enough is given to our mental health. You know, we're expected to just keep going and keep going and keep going and to just be able to do it all. And you can, and we all see the devastating consequences when people can. And what you've got to remember is that there will always be people who will push you. There will always be situations that will push you and people will keep pushing and situations will keep pushing. And at some point you have to say, no, I can't do this. I can't do it. It's too much. Um, you have to remember to look after your mental health. And it's just as important for the children to learn how to look after their mental health as well, which is why I will always say, if I can see that they're struggling or that they're really, you know, I will say, let's go for a walk. Let's go play in the garden. Let's go do something else. Let's take some time out and watch a film. Take some time out and read a book. Do something, play, play on your iPad for half an hour. You know, you've, you've, you've made an effort. You've tried, we've tried to do this because you could sit there for three hours and try to make them do one piece of work and there could be tears. And, and what's the point? What's the point in the tantrums and the tears? You know, take a break, take a break for 10 minutes and then go back to it. I know that if I take a break from something that I'm finding stressful and go back to it, I can probably complete it. No problem. Sometimes it might be a day and then I'll go back to it the next day and it's not an issue. But you can, the more you overload yourself, the worse it will be. Yeah, you, you can't keep on and on going. You're not, you're, we're all only human and there's only so much people can do. And it's really, really, really important to look after your mental health um, as well as, and more so sometimes than your physical health. Because without without your brain and your mind working for you, you know, without being being able to formulate thoughts. I've been in that dark, dark, dark place before and it's not a nice place to be, you know those dark for thoughts that form and that cloud that comes over you it is not something that I'd wish on anybody at all. So it's just not worth it. It's nothing's worth it that not to get to that point. If if it's the sake of just taking a, a break and doing something different and going back to it later, then that is far, far better. You know, taking it the same, that's it today. We, we can't do it today um, because I just can't cope with it today that's fine. It's okay. It's okay to say it's too much and to try again later, to try again the next day. It's okay. Um, I just wanted to put that across because I feel really, really strongly about looking after your mental health and the kids' mental health as well. That comes just as important, especially at the moment, especially at the moment. And I just feel that we're going to be facing an even bigger crisis after all this COVID is, you know, when things finally get back to some sort of normality, there will still be a huge mental health crisis to deal with. And the more we can look after ourselves now, um, the better it will be for all of us, everybody in the future. Hey guys, as you're probably aware, I am at work for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Do you like my t-shirt? It's nice, isn't it? So yeah, I'm at work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week, and uh, I've just come home for lunch because I, I rescue lunch from from Zoe, who's been working really hard doing the homeschool and everything. Zoe, I'm, I'm a very proud husband because you do all the stuff. I'm a mouth shut because I'll say something I regret. Because I've got to go to work. I can't help it. I've got to earn the pennies. Sorry. Gotta go work. I gotta go work. I've got to work. I've got to earn the pennies. Last time you were here. Now you've got to go work all of a sudden. <laughs> Didn't have to go work last time. I know. I know. I see, well, I'm not getting political. I'm not getting political, but work has been good. They've given us a couple of days off a week to do homeschooling yeah. and get involved with childcare. And I'm going to stop moving the camera a bit because Zoe told me off for that because apparently I was doing this last time. Didn't even realise I was doing it, so sorry about that. But yeah, so I'm home to help a little bit, help out a little bit with lunch, doing a bit of lunch now. And giving Zoe a bit of a break from that bit. So, but well done for the homeschooling. Don't fight with each other. It's not kind. Don't fight with each other. It's not kind. Hi. A little bit scratched on the arm. Cracking on with lunch. We are nearly back home. 
Right, we are out for a walk. It's um, be careful. It's pretty slippy out today. It's really icy. So I was going to get him into the garden, but the garden's like really like an ice rink. So I thought we'll go out for a walk. I thought actually I thought we'll go out for a short walk because the older ones are at home doing their work. So I thought I'd take the younger ones out for a short walk, um, but I forgot to take a turn off on the short walk. So we ended up just doing the normal one anyway. Um, but that's okay. So um, it's really cold this afternoon. We normally, we have been going for a walk in the morning, but we decided to go this afternoon instead. Um, just because we were doing work this morning and we needed to get out of the house because everyone's just getting to each other, fighting with each other, arguing with each other. So I thought it was best to get out, but it is very icy. I'm very careful. Erin's just gone over on her bum. I think she was doing it deliberately. It just takes such a long time to actually get everybody out of the house. By the time you've put 25,000 layers on, we're gonna, we're gonna say hello. Oh, hang on, say, say hi. No, no, get out. Come on, out, come on. By the time you actually get everybody dressed, mm. and by the time everybody's had a wee, and put their suits on, and put their wellies on, and put their jumpers on, and put their gloves on, and the hats on, it takes about 45 minutes just to get them out of the house. But once we're out, we're out, and it's always quite nice. Do you like my scarf? It's a raven claw, and I can. So this lot of. Uh, I'm blocking the whole screen. Don't ask where my green eye is green. <laughs> but at least, at least we've got out for a bit. This is always good. I got and now this lot doing this. Get out the thing. Whatever it's called. Oh, they're lying. Oh, they're lying. I actually right, want to do that. Just in case there's dog poo in the grass. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> so much dog poo everywhere. It's really mean. Come on, Come on up you get. Come on, Agnes. It's all frozen. Uh, Leah, don't lick stuff you find. She's not. Oh. Imagine the dog feeding her. Mm. I need eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Agnes has walked a really long way actually. She only sat in the pushchair for a little bit. I only take the double because we go for quite a long way. But um, My leg is still hurting. She's, uh, she's walked nearly all the way, bless her. It's quite a long way. Anyway, we're on the way home now. See how everyone's doing. Now my stew is cooking. So that is Tuesday done. I had to think then what day it was. It is Tuesday. Um, I got a bit confused. So girls managed to get some schoolwork done this afternoon. Um, Noah and Eva are downstairs doing some more with Ben now. Um, little ones are in bed. I've just been sorting out the washing and moving some units around. Uh, oh, and the girls had dance classes this afternoon in the lounge as well. So it's been a busy, another busy day. We had the um, announcement today as well about the lockdown being extended by another three weeks I think is it three weeks I'm not sure to be honest it's not a surprise we all kind of knew it was coming I think really I don't think anybody really thought that we'd be out of it by the uh, 1st of February so you know it's not really um it's not really a shock is it um just means we've got to keep going, doing what we're doing for a little bit longer. It's a shame that everybody's not doing what we should be doing because that way we might get out of it quicker, but that's a story for another day. Um, I guess we just got to keep on, keep on doing what we're doing. And I know, you know, things like homeschooling and that are um, a bit challenging, but at the end of the day, we are doing it for a reason and it's a pretty good reason, you know, this whole pandemic has just changed so much for so many people and 
it's it's just been such feels like such a long time now i think i think that's why people are getting so sort of fed up but it's and it's winter obviously i mean from kind of from my point of view um it's given me extra time with the children and um apart from the homeschooling bit <laughs> which is it's just it's just time management that's my issues it's just time management it's not it's just having the time to fit everything in um but you know in the long run i do get to spend more time with the kids they are here all the time but it would be nice at some point to get back to some kind of normal to be able to go and do the things that we haven't been able to do you know see friends and family and those are all the little things that you you really miss just being able to do all the normal stuff i mean we've always been the kind of family that go everywhere together really anyway you know we do a lot of walks and free things if you like anyway so that's kind of given us more time to do those sorts of things um which i guess is a bonus in a way um but i'm sure that the children would at some point like their lives to go back to normal to have their friends and you know from a purely selfish point of view i get to keep them with me but you know that's not that's not how the real world works is it all the time you know they do need to go out and spread their wings and spend time doing what they need to do and friends and everything else um so i think we hear again beginning of february what might happen with schools and when they might go back personally i can't see it being much before easter but who knows who knows i guess anything before that was you know unexpected so i just have to wait and see so yeah it's been an okay day at least we managed to get out and about in the fresh air which is always good toby's still running around like a lunatic and he needs a haircut, don't you, Tobes? Look yeah. His, look at your hair. You need a haircut. I haven't had a, a haircut since Agnes's birthday. I know. You need some teeth as well. Yes. <laughs> You've got no teeth. When are they going to grow in? I don't know. You haven't had teeth for ages. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it from me. Just a quick catch up of our day really, see what we've been up to. I hope that everybody is doing okay. Everybody is coping okay. Um, just remember what I kind of said earlier that you can only do so much and if you're doing your best, that's all you can do. So you're only human, you can't do any more than that. So thanks for watching. Um, and we'll catch up again soon don't forget to subscribe and like and all those sorts of things i forget to say every like single the bell time and thanks. Thanks. Don't be. Yes. <laughs> thanks guys see you later bye